Hello and uh, welcome back. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do some uh, tri-tip steak. We got a big, uh, big piece right here, and uh, we're gonna first uh, do hot and fast. We're gonna sear it, and then we're gonna just move it up on the lower side of the grill. It is gonna reach 135 degrees internal. So uh, all we're gonna use today is salt, pepper, and some olive oil. First, we're just uh, gonna put some olive oil on top right there, just like that rub it on everywhere so uh, all the salt and paper can uh, have a nice uh, stay on the steak there we go just like this I'm gonna flip it around this fat here is fine but it's all gonna render down nicely so uh, let me get some olive oil on this side as well nice and easy everywhere just like this. It's first time for me that I'm uh, trying tri tip steak, so uh, very curious to see how it's gonna come out. It should be easy to cook. Here we go. Just uh, wipe my hands now. Alright, we got some salt over here. Let's grind some on top. There we go. Just do, doing the uh, classic seasoning to the salt and pepper. That's it. It's a big cut like this. It's okay if you put some extra. Okay, some uh, some fresh pepper. It's very important to season the steak 15-20 uh, minutes before it's gonna go on the grill. Olive oil is working good. Alright, put the pepper again. And also, I'm gonna do some uh, smashed potatoes. I'm gonna show you. They're gonna be delicious as well. Some garlic. Okay. With the salt. All right. That was pretty good. So that's how it looks like. Now we uh, just wait for the fire. I already started the fire in my grill, so uh, we should be ready to go in 15 minutes. All right. So that's how the steaks. Uh, the steak looks like after seasoning. Let me try to focus on the other side so you can see better. There you go. Alright, so it looks like temperature reached over 600 degrees. Ooh, that's super hot in here. It's, uh, it's time to sear the steak now. It's a big cut, it's like uh, close to three pounds. So let me grab it really easy. We're gonna do a four minutes uh, on each side total time, so right there. Look at that sizzling. Set it down a little bit. Oh, let me focus more so you can see better. There we go. All right, let's uh, close the lid down so we don't get flares up like that. It's gonna be a good sear. Alright, so four minutes on each side. I'm gonna do two minutes and then uh, rotate 90 degrees another for another two minutes. Alright. Alright, two minutes in, it's time to rotate it 90 degrees. Ooh. Close it down. Alright, two more minutes and we're gonna flip it. Alright, so it's been uh, four minutes on total on uh, this side. Time to flip it down. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Super nice char on that. 
So uh, four more four more minutes on this side, then we're gonna lift it more up for uh, more more like an indirect. So it's gonna reach the desired temperature. All right, it's been uh, eight minutes total time. Let's take a look. Oof, look at this. Super heavy, super massive. But yeah, that's how it looks like. Super nice. Let me put, let me set it aside, and uh, I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna raise the grate up, and then I'm gonna slow down the fire a little bit till uh, it's gonna reach the desired temperature on the steak. All right. All right. So as you can see, I put the grate on the higher level. I don't have the deflector place, so I'm gonna work with that. Then uh, I'm gonna put this on the side over here, just like this. And uh, I'm also gonna put my pen gauge. Yeah. My uh, little pen gauge, a little bit more. Okay. So I can know exactly the temperature and everything. All right. I'm gonna close this and. Uh, Slow down the fire a little bit. There we go. All right, I'll be back once you, uh, once the steak reach uh, 135 internal. So it's a quick update right after we raise the grates up. So after we sear the steak four minutes on each side, it's got only 72 internal. So uh, still gotta go another uh, 70, almost 70 degrees. So yeah. Should take another 15-20 minutes easy. Okay, so it's been uh, 10 minutes on the higher side of the grill for the lower temperature. Uh, let's take a look. Ooh, looks super good, and it smells amazing too. So currently it's a 105. It's uh, it's close. We got another 25 degrees to go. Let me close this. 106 right now. All right, so uh, recap, we did uh, four minutes on each side, so that's uh, eight minutes on uh, the direct side, and then we just put it on the indirect side for, uh, let's see, for another 20 minutes. So uh, close to 30 minutes in total time. The steak right now is uh, 130 degrees internal. Let's take a look. Okay, now uh, we're just gonna remove the steak up from the grill and uh, let it rest for 15 minutes. And uh, that should, uh, that should do it. So while the steak is resting for 15 minutes, probably it's gonna cook another five degrees. So it's it's gonna be for it's gonna be perfect 135 degrees. All right, look at this. Super super nice. Okay, right there. Let it sit. Then uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this skill, skillet on. For uh, for the sides, we're gonna cook the sides down. So uh, let me close this and uh, let's close let's let's cook the sides. All right. So what I have here is some uh, baby potatoes. I just boiled this till they uh, they done, and uh, now we're gonna smash it just like this. So this little spatula I have here. There we go. You can see. Then we're easy slowly gonna put it there. We're gonna smash all of those. I only have six, so. It's easy. This one just came apart. It's okay. Next one. There we go. Here. That's why I put that uh, cast iron skillet on the on the grill to get hot. We're gonna fry it for uh, 30 seconds on each side to get some nice char, some nice uh, crust. All right. Let me set this aside. I'm gonna put some uh, salt pepper, salt pepper and uh, garlic on top, just like this. All right, that should do it. All right, look like the, looks like the fire is ready. So I'll check it one by one. Yes. I was hoping this one get. The part like this, but it's still good. A few more pieces right there, that's it. 
All right, I just took the potatoes up. I did uh, one minute on each side, so uh, since they were already boiled, they should be ready. So, all right, let's go and cut the steak. All right, so uh, the steak is out since uh, 15 minutes ago. All right, got my butcher knife here. Let's go and uh, take a look on the inside. Oh, it's all nice and juicy. Mm. Sorry, it smells really, really good. All right, let's get this aside. Bring some potatoes. Smashed potatoes, just like that. Uh, also have a little bit of uh, garlic ranch I made here. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.